Previously on my gravel project, the cute thief brought me a unique retro Cannondale Delta V frame and hedgehog suspension fork. I then spent episode 1 stripping the paint and removing the fork's brake mounts. Episode 2 was spent trying to make a disc brake fit, which involved building a super light light bicycle carbon rim onto a Chris King hub and trying different disc mounts I found online. Once I sorted the brake out, I removed the mounts and bridge and left you on a bit of a cliffhanger with what colour I painted it. I didn't want to show you the colour until I was ready to build the bike, but I think you've waited long enough. Drum roll please. It's blue! Specifically, paint code RAL5017 Traffic Blue, which is the same retro blue some Cannadales came in. I had hundreds of guesses in the comments, but only a handful said blue. A lot of people guessed red, which is the other iconic Cannondale colour, and one I almost went for, but I was always a fan of the old blue bikes with yellow graphics. As per usual, I get a little rough with the paint between coats. Sanding the paint gives a flatter finish and a nicer texture for the next coat to stick to. After four coats, I leave it sanded and give it a blast to remove any of my shedded hair. It's then ready for the next step, adding the graphics. Like I mentioned, I'm going for a classic blue with yellow graphics look, so I picked up some suitable ones from eBay. I've left the paint sanded as I want to add the lacquer over the graphics. It also means if I mess up, it's easier to touch up the paint, and this may have been a smart choice. I must admit, I was anxious about this part of the build. Adding decals can be tricky, but these Cannondale ones wrap around the tubes so make lining up everything a lot harder. Turns out my anxiety was well placed. I made a complete mess of it. The decals are really thin and ended up ripping. I generally wasn't really happy with the quality. Even if they'd fitted with no issues, it seems slightly transparent and the blue shows through, turning them slightly green close up. I was left with no choice but to try and remove them and hope the paint doesn't take too much damage. You can see how easily it rips. This made it a complete pain in the ass to remove. But I did manage to get it off without too much damage. However, it did leave some marks which were still noticeable after a rubber scotch pad. So I decided to give it a quick touch up and get it looking its best. Whilst previously painting the frame, I'd also painted the fork. Now the last coat is dry, I roughen it up once more and see if I have any luck applying the decals to these. These are also from eBay, but not the same seller, so hopefully they're better quality. They're not the exact match for the fork model, but they do match the retro look I'm going for, so I'm happy enough. It turns out these are also harder to fit than I expected. Because they didn't have a backing paper, it made it harder to fit as a group, and lining them up took a lot more effort. Once fitted, I decided I'd put them on pretty wonky and wasn't happy. Pretty annoying, but off they come. So that's both the frame and fork decals ruined. A pretty disappointing result, especially as I don't have any replacements. And this is why there's been such a long delay between episodes. I'm working with Lucy at IndiePrint to get some better decals made, but she doesn't have these as stock products, so is working hard on finding the right measurements and details to make it happen. But the failures don't stop at the decal fitting. Since waiting, I've had to use the garage for other filming projects, and I've had to hide the frame. Unfortunately, it's been resting against things that have badly damaged the paint. And the same goes for the fork too. I think this will be fine once I sand the damage level and give it a touch up, but it's a disappointing end to a disappointing episode. Things don't always go to plan though, and that's just part of the journey. I was going to save this update until I was all ready to go with the updated graphics, but 
Enough people have asked about it, I thought I'd keep you in the loop. Thanks for all your interest in this project though. I'm looking forward to finishing it and sharing it with you all. I also have a couple more builds in the pipeline I think you'll like too, so consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell if you haven't already to make sure you don't miss them. But until then, thanks for watching and have an absolutely amazing week. See you later everyone, bye bye.